what's going on youtube welcome back to another video it's been a while um on this video i just want to show you guys how to clean the spark spark plug tubes or spark plug holes um i recently did the valve cover gasket job on my truck and when i went to put the new spark plugs um one of these spark plugs i believe it was the other side the front uh passenger side was having a hard time screwing in so i was able to clean it up a little bit but i wasn't too satisfied with it so today i bought or i ordered these q-tips from amazon and what i'm doing is putting three or four together at a time i'll show you guys i already cleaned one this is just from one tube look how dirty this thing was so i'm taping three or four at a time and i'm just like putting it in the tube and spinning it like this cleaning it good and then I'm, I'm joining uh, two together like this to clean the threads. And I have a vacuum to check out my vacuum setup. I have this Milwaukee fuel brushless vacuum. And I bought this adapter kit with the tubes to vacuum out the holes. So I'll show you guys how it looks. So basically this is a setup. I just shove it down the spark plug, spark plug hole past the threads so I could clean up anything that might have fallen in there. Still got a little bit more crud. You see the lip where the spark plug sits? I want to clean that real good. Cleaning. You can see the piston from here, I believe. Pretty dirty. Holy smokes, you guys see all that junk down there?
right here on the bottom right. A little better, gotta clean it up now with the Q-tips. A little bit of purple power on these. Just on the driver's side, how dirty this thing was. We're gonna get another pack so I can clean the passenger. Gotta clean it up a little more. The piston's looking kind of dirty, dude. And the seat foam it. Let me get something so I can scrape the sides. So I came up with a different technique for getting the little uh, crud that's stuck on the sides. You can see this one's a lot cleaner. It's got a longer screwdriver and scraped the sides. You know, like for example, so I put it in there and then just clean the sides. You know, go around, spin it. So I took these other two spark plugs out just to do that. We've got this side all wrapped up. Good to go. Um, there we go. Gotta knock the other side out though. All right, y'all, we're now on the passenger side. Out this park plug, let's take a look in there. It's not that dirty actually on this side. You could actually read the B on that piston, that's crazy. We're still gonna clean everything though, make it look nice. Not that bad. Now we're gonna try and scrape off sidewalls or the sides where the spark plug sits. Integrated this brass brush to clean the threads. So shove it in there and then just spin it. Harbor Fright. And then obviously you go in there with the Q tips, clean it up. This one's basically spotless almost. And then look at this one. Curdy, dirty. The tube itself is dirty as crap. So let's get it cleaned up. Here's what here's what literally just came out of that tube. Check this out.
Wow. Let's try it again. Let me wrap this up and then I'll show you guys the finished results. Real clean. Real clean now. And then this is the main dirty one that I was telling you guys about. Passenger front, I think it's cylinder one. Super dirty, let's clean it up. All right, so here is the passenger side. Not as bad as the driver's side. As you can see, we use way more on the driver's side also. Crazy. I got the new tube, brand new. water pump, timing belt. I did all that last month at 298 or a month and a half ago. But, and I also did the valve cover gaskets and all that stuff the next week. Nine four twenty one, almost three hundred K. Can't wait for it to hit three hundred K. This is my tool kit here. All right, y'all. So here's my tool kit. Um, all we used for this project or for this cleaning was this screwdriver. Little uh brush the alcohol large q-tips brake cleaner and my vacuum with this hose kit that they sell at home depot from milwaukee you could use any shop bag with the regular hose but i went all out with it and some purple power to clean the walls of the tubes that's it